Yo, what is up people? This is the creator and today I am your coach of the Center Fall Swampert of a Premier League based association, the PLBA. Uh, today we're going to be facing our uh, big bread coach of the Boston Celebes. And if you are a high, just please leave a thumbs up down below and hope we can crush at least 10 or 15 likes and without further ado, let's get started. Now, his team it's really, really threatening. I cannot say anything more. Because his OU draft is literally the one that's stopping me to, you know, to prep for a certain mod and all that stuff. There's a lot of pros and cons. There's a lot of mods that, that I'm not sure if I should bring this or what move I should bring for that. Well, I'm not sure. So he has a superior. He got Ente and Suicune. He got the Wolfire Water Grass Core. Although, that they're, although Ente and Suicune are both... Are not OU but they're UU's but the tiering system from PLBA is completely different so I'm so you know I'm not gonna go against this so I'm just gonna go along with it so we got Metagross, Mega Audino, Dragalge, Hitmontop, Archeops, Ludicolo, Stoutland, and, Ar and Ariados. Now common weaknesses well he got a lot of good weaknesses but yet there's a lot of ones he can counter it there's a certain amount of weak to ground. Superior is, is switching and also Archeops. Also start, uh, also Ludicolo. There's a lot of mons that cover the weakness. So there's certain there's literally nothing else I can do for this thing. But I figured out some way that prep with my friends, I tell them, should I bring this mon? Should I bring some other mon? I don't know what to bring, so I bring this six mon. So the first up, we got Frog Frogger or Frogadier holding the life for Protean with Ice Beam Surf, Grass Knot, and Dark Pulse. We have Max Special Attack, Max Speed, Timid Nature. Now we're put Rock and Fully Special. We don't have to Hazard or anything. I want to hit hard as I can with um, Frogger, um, Grass Knot to, uh, for the Sweet Coon. It does about eighty percent. So. If it's def if it's max max um health max special defense it'll do at least sixty something percent regardless of that it's a two co, um surf stab for Entei, it ocos I'm assuming, um ice beam for superior I don't think it ocos because the fact because it doesn't have so high special attack, um dark paul for the metagross. The, um, Dark Pulse, for, well, basically just for the Metagross, because Metagross is usually the big threat of the team. Because if he runs Bandit Metagross, that is a problem. Although he's locked in with something, that's still a problem. If he's Assault Vest, it's also a problem. Because most of my mods are special, and we do have, like, half physical, half special. Because Met Meta Meta Cham, um, oh no, hold up, never mind. We got four special and two physical. So it's still a problem doing that so but we do have um ice beam for the jergalge it does about a heaps amount of damage um this thing is frail i mean obviously it's always going to be frail but at the same time i, I don't want to run eviolite because regardless running eviolite um certain monk is still okay even with eviolite which is why it does, there's no point of having eviolite so i put life warp to hit harder with all the moves so um hopefully Frogger gets to pull through, and I really, I really hope pull through. That's literally almost my win con. But the only thing it doesn't have speed is superior Ente, unless I get my webs up, which means Juan comes in next. So Juan, as our uh, Garvantula was holding the Focus Sash, nice and Focus Sash, we're gonna lift any hits you have. So we have T Thunder Wave, Sticky Webs, Thunder, Hidden Power Ice. Now, I trade Hidden Power. I hit trade um, um. Fuck. Um, I traded um ba Bug Buzz for um Ice for Hidden Power Ice because in case because if Dragalge wants to switch in for this thing, I got Hidden Power Ice for it. Even though it's not gonna do too too much, Bug Buzz still does resist with poison. Um, I also have that for other mods. I just I just don't I just rather not risk like using that because if someone walls me like Dragalge, I can't really do anything to it, so I must like Hidden Power Ice or just um Thunder Wave it. Um, this is like my supporter, so setting up webs. The only defogger he has is our Ar Archeops, and a hit on top is our uh, Rapid Spinner. So, 
looking at that, but we also have to be careful with contrary superior with sticky webs. If he ends up bringing superior, I cannot set. I'm not fully gold to set up my webs, but I can try my best to see if I can go throughout the matchup without with or without webs. If and you really realize my own team, it doesn't have rapid spin or anything like that. I know I, I was debating on that because I'll actually I'm gonna explain to that once we get to the mod that I debated on. So Focus Sash Guan is mainly there to support for Thunder Waving anyone. The the mod I wanna Thunder Wave the most is Entei. Um Mega Auto Note it has has heal bell, so if you end up does bring in heal bell, um that's really bad for us. But at the same time of that, eh, it's like a 50-50. We have to, we don't really have to make sure for about any of that. But, um, Entei, Banda Entei is literally 100% a problem to me. Because it really Oko's literally every single mon on my team. Um, even Defensive Sylveon gets Oko by a Bandit Flare Blitz. Uh, Sacred Fire, he can, um, he can, has a chance to kill. Mega Medicham, that's why it's always there too, but at the same time, it still dies to it. Obviously, Warrior as well. Um, anyways, I hope, I, I just want to T-Wave that mon as quickly as I can. Set up the webs just to slow that mon down. That's why, that's why the webs are for, mainly for the Entei. Also for, for a uh, mon that's faster than this, which is only the Entei. But, um, you know, Arceus is fast, but obviously cannot get affected by webs. But anyways, hopefully one does put in the work so now next up we got uh, we got um well my god this thing's going too slow today on me okay so we got metachamp our Met mega metachair hold holding a metachamp by pure power bulk up um uh, drain punch thunder punch and poison jab now if you're realizing this set that i have bring right now it doesn't touch um dragulge unless i'm at plus two but the thing about this is that I'm debating on Thunder Punch or Poison um, Thunder Punch or Ice Punch for the Dragalge, but um, I'm like because because the Sweet Coon is very so much of a problem. I should bring Thunder Punch then Ice Punch, Drain Punch for Stab. I don't want to bring High Jump Kick. I don't remember my luck with High Jump Kick. I really don't like it, so that's why I really make I really have to bring Drain Punch for it, and also it's for health recovery. Um, Poison Jeff and I already know if I got plus two at Elko's. If it plus one, it does a lot of damage, but it doesn't one shot. But if he's defensive, dazzling gleam will not Oko me. So if that's the case, um, Poison Jab, like I said, if Mega Auto is not offensive, he will not Oko me with dazzling gleam. So we'll know by then if he's offensive or defensive. So we are max attack, max speed, to jolly nature. Um, the thing is, is that um. This um, certain mods like these is really really hard to prep for because I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to bring out because certain mods have certain weakness but also has other mods that can counter it. So like for example, I can go ahead and just Dream Punch Metagross and he has um what's that called? He has Dragal switching. He got um no not Stalin. Like, uh, I was gonna say Ariel switching because it's quad resist. Um, Thunder Punch switch ins. They have Superior switch in. They had Dragal switch in. They got, oh no, Lucas neutral. They have certain switch in for certain moves. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna bring Thunder Punch or Ice Punch. So I just debated on that and I put Thunder Punch because of Sweet Coon. Sweet Coon's literally the biggest wall that I ever had in my life. So I have to make sure that it actually works out for me. So hopefully, Mayor Chan just works out for this team. He could potentially sweep. I can bulk up in front of Metagross because even a Bandit hit. Well, actually, I tried this before, and Bandit has a chance to Oko with uh, Meteor Mesh. But I am faster, so I could bulk up right immediately. Oh my God! Another Skype call. My bad. Um. Anyway, our next up, we got we got Ribbons, our Sivions, Choice Specs with um, Pixie, Nice and Pixie Leg with Hyper Voice, Side Shock, Hidden Power Fire, and Baton Pass. Now, the thing is with the Baton Pass is that just in case they have like certain switchings, like if they try to like like for the Suicune, if um, for example, if set up a calm mind, I can't do nothing much with it. If he switches in, I'll just use Baton Pass. Um, or Hyper Voice Specs, Hyper Voice does so much damage. Literally does like this. Literally does a lot of damage to like Mega Audino. If 
Nether Argonaut does about like literally more than half, like half to 60%. Um, Suicune does almost the same damage. Literally, it does so much work. Ribbons is literally our win con, but even though it is slow, but I can't really do much for that. But, um, you know, hopefully, you know, Ribbons does get a little bit of a workout. I, I can't let Ribbons stay in the Metagross because Metagross literally is going to wreck the team. And I don't have a switch in other than, than um, our next one, which is Warrior. Um, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um... So we have a uh, max health, max special attack, modest nature with eight with four in special defense. Oh wow! Well, let me just add in one more because I forgot remaining in the HP. Um, the thing is, is there is that um, I able to um, hit harder with um, choice bags, hyper voice, psy shock. It's neutral and it does it hits hits mons like any poison type like your gulch or anything like that. Or it does things like mons like that but hidden power fire um for the crap for the superior mainly superior and also metagross hopefully we get that to work out so hopefully ribbons does put in the work so yeah this is really gonna be working out so our next mon is uh warriors or um Oh yeah, next mons is oh, why I didn't put any EV. Okay, whatever. I'll put that in a bit. Um, warriors are bit sharp, held in black glasses. With I didn't put I didn't put life four because I don't want to take life four damage. Depending because depending because I have so many life four damage for this one, this one and uh, Venomoth. So um, next so we got knockoff sucker punch, iron head, and storage dance. It's so this one's supposed to be uh, max attack, max speed, max attack, max speed with uh t um, jolly nature and put that and put put this man this computer is derping out today wow all right so put it all like that so that's basically words um this is mean this is mainly our check for our audio um for the medicals too if it became a problem uh also superior when it outspeeds i got sucker punch for that uh it does more than half neutrally mm -hmm. Um, if Ariados does come in and set up webs, I got Warriors as our Defiant boost. So um, that's that's basically why I traded my defensive Avalog for um, Bisharp. Because if I get a Defiant boost, I'm already at plus two instead up. I was thinking about running Focus Sash as well, but um, I would think I was thinking Black Glasses will fit a little bit more just in case it doesn't bring the um, the Ariados. Because um, I'll be at plus two and all that stuff, and I can just hit hard like a truck. So. That's with that being said, hopefully Warriors can just literally just clean up the team when it's needed. All right, last but not least, we got our we got Venomoth, our Venom of Venomoth, our a life form tinted land user with Quiver Dance, Sleep, Power Sludge Bomb, and Bug Buzz. Now the thing is with this is that I was I was also debating the fact that um like if I should get rid of Sludge Bomb and leave Bug Buzz on, but um I realized that I do need Sludge Bomb for the Ordinal. Because I need to be a plus three or plus four, I think, to um to Oko with Bug Buzz, um fire. Because if he ran offensive, because he ran offensive all you know like two times literally in a row, um fire blast does. If I'm at plus one quiver dance, it does literally a lot of damage, but it doesn't one shot venom off. Luckily, I can sleep powder it, putting someone to sleep. Um, I could quiver dance away and literally just wreck shop. This thing literally is a god. I really love Venomoth, and Venomoth hopefully will do a lot of a lot of work to certain people. I really do. It's like it's like my check to most mons that's literally resisted and to the tinted lead literally is there for coverage. So overall, looking at his team and looking at my team, uh, why is the shock wheeze messed up? Okay, um, looking at my team. Um, my team versus his team. I just I cannot stand the Meta, Meta, Mega Mega Girls because Mega Mega Girls is yeah not Mega. Um, regular Mega Girls is literally the problem in Bandit Entei. Re Bandit Entei wrecks my whole team. Uh, Thovez Mega Girls will wreck my team too. Um, depending on like the spread that he brings, he might bring a Salt Vest. He may bring Bandit. He may not even bring it at all. I'm, I hope he doesn't. Because Metagross is also a big wall a big wall to my Sylveon. But the rest of my mon I can literally take. Except for Entei. So. 
If he doesn't bring, if he doesn't bring Mega Metal Girls, Sylveon is our win con. Um, if, he, if he does bring it, but he doesn't bring Suicune, then um, what's that called? Then Better Moth is my win, win con because um, Better Moth literally can just wreck shop right now. But if he does, if hopefully he doesn't bring Superior too, so I can just freely set set on my sticky webs. I feel like he might bring Sil um, Sur Superior, but I got so many mods that can touch it. That's why I'm not sure if he could bring it or not. So. Thinking about my team, hopefully it does work out. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry for so many like, you know, communication error with this because this com I really do need a new computer right now. But um, because this computer is literally slow, I tried I tried my best to fix it, but literally there's nothing I can do for for this. So um, hopefully you understand. Don't worry, everything will go on better. So thank you very much for watching, and I talk to you guys later. Peace.